Sabi ni Gwen Garcia, don't mess with us. You know? Sabi ni Gwen Garcia, tinakot ang mga bashers. Bashers, mga, mga kritiko lang tulad natin. Ni Frasco, don't mess with us. Eh, parang tayo pa ang may kasalanan. Eh, sila ang magnanakaw. Uh, so, this problem of corruption is not just individuals, not just the government, it's cultura. The entire culture po, itong mga nagaharing political uh, na classes natin, na uri. We are not messing with you. It is your daughter that is messing with us. Eh, yung baby nyo, pinagtatakpan, no? Uh, yung kapalpakan ni Paul Soriano at ni Lisa Araneta. And that's why she crossed the netizen line. No? Alam nyo ho, meron nga yung ongoing hate line against the First Lady and Paul Soriano. No? And that again repeats dito sa Pagcor logo. No? Na, ano ba yan? Demonyo? Ta- Palong ng uh, manok, ano ba yan? Uh, uh, nawala yung kabay, kamentong, nawala yung araw. So, uh, ibig sabihin yan, ipaprivatize na talaga ang pagkor. Who is messing with your daughter, uh, ma'am? No? Uh, the person messing with your daughter and who is sabotaging your daughter, uh, who is running a demolition of your daughter's Department of Tourism, is none other than Enrique Manalo, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs, in kakunchaba niya ang Assistant Secretary na si Henry Bersuto, no? na naging issue lamang ng 100 to 250 visas para sa mga Chinese. Ha? Tourist, tourist. At dahil dito, hindi ho makakakota ang Chinese ng 2 million this year because to be able to reach that number, The DFA must be issuing almost 8,000 visas a day. So, dyan yung event ang inyong galit. No? Yan ang nagsasabutahe. Hindi lamang ng inyong anak, hindi lamang ng DOT, kundi ng buong bansa, sampo ng mga mamamayang Pilipino. Dahil uh, mawawalan po tayo rito ng... One uh, billion dollar ng earnings, two, two or an equivalent of two hundred billion. billion. Remember, Kado. tourism creates two jobs per tourist. Kado two billion dollars yan per annum. Uh, from, two billion. Oh, two billion, two billion. billion. Or equivalent of hundred twenty billion pesos uh, a year. Isipin po niyo, at uh, from almost two million tourists in 2019, we're going to be down to maybe. Uh, 100 or 200,000 this year if this situation does not change. No? And so- Ang feeling ko po and, ng maraming mga kapwa nating Pilipino ngayon na tayo nasa quicksand ng corruption, ano, ng arrogance, ng uh, profligacy o yung sobrang gas, magastos na gobyerno po natin. Bakit nasabi natin ito? Well, uh, ngayong linggo lang, makaraan lang nung nakaraang linggo na skandalo tungkol sa uh, promotion ng tourism uh, na milyon-milyon, limampung milyon sa isang plagiarized uh, promotion material or video kung saan-saan lang kumuha sa internet ng mga videos and so on at uh, binil uh, ang ating gobyerno ng 50 million pesos Itong linggo naman, sumabog itong pagkor logo. 3 million pesos na sabi ng ibang mga staff po natin dito sa media department po natin. Eh, uh, uh, for a cup of coffee, pwede akong gumawa ng mas magandang logo kaysa yung makikita po natin ngayon sa screen po natin. No? Pati si Malutiki yan, nag, uh, nag-commentary diyan Yan, kita po niyo yung pagkor, yung parang may sungay na hindi ma- maintindihan na hipon na pula. Hindi namin ma- uh, yan ay 3 million pesos. Samantalang yung dating pagkor logo ay napakaganda. Dalawang kamay ah, na sinasalo ang araw. Ay, ibig sabihin yung mga maralita, yung mga may sakit, may mga kapansanan. Well, eh, mukhang money making lang talaga po ito. Another scandal under the Bongbong administration. But what takes me, uh, by the, what really gets my goat, itong reaction naman nitong Governor Gwen Garcia ng Cebu doon sa mga bumabatikos po kay Fracas dahil sa kanyang 
fiasco. No, fiasco, fracas. Fracas mga apelido? Am I correct? Frasco, I'm sorry. Frascos fiasco. Frascos fiasco. <laughs> Ito po ang reaksyon ng ina po nitong si Frasco na sekretary ng Department of Tourism. Ano sabi niya? Let's look at the Abante report. Yan, sabi ni Gwen Garcia, don't mess with us. You know? Sabi ni Gwen Garcia, tinakot ang mga bashers. Bashers, mga, mga kritiko lang tulad natin ni Frasco. Don't mess with us. Eh, parang tayo pa ang may kasalanan. Eh, sila ang magnanakaw. Uh, so, this problem of corruption is not just individuals, not just the government, it's cultura. The entire culture po, itong mga nagaharing political uh, na classes natin, na uri. Uh, and hindi naman po exception yan, pati lahat ng mga functionaries ng ating pamalaan. Ito po, from DENR, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, finaflag po yung mga high water bills of government agencies. Ano ba, naliligo na lahat ng mga empleyado ng gobyerno sa mga opisina nila? Ano? This is just, uh, alam po ninyo ang utang natin, bawat Pilipino, 133,000 pesos. Kayo, ako, mga anak natin, mga sanggol, bagong silang sa sanggol, meron ng 133,000 pesos ng utang. Dahil sa 14 trillion peso debt, national debt ng bayan po natin, yan lahat ng mga gastos nila, yan po lahat, dinadagdag dyan sa utang natin. Kayo po, Mayaman po talaga kayo dahil kayo nagpautang sa gobyerno ng 133,000 pesos. Pati yung mga anak niyo, bawat isa. Eh kung kayo ay pamilya ng lima, eh halos isang milyong piso na po yun. Ito naman, NBI executive who hired sexy dancers during formal event to, ex to explain side in the investigation, in the probe. Ano ba naman ito? Ano? At ito po, finally, ano? COA flags Coast Guard over purchase of 7.8 million SUV. Ano? Uh, anong gagawin niya? Ibabarko niya doon sa West Philippine Sea yan para ibangga sa Chinese Coast Guard. <laughs> Talaga naman. I'm sure Kaado has a lot of uh, things to add to that. And our, of course, our guest who just has come back from uh, China as uh, part of the media delegation coming sa Pilipinas. Uh, ipapakwento po natin in our next episode no, para one whole segment ay pag-usapan natin yan. But um, anong comment, reaction po ninyo? Let's start with Kaado kasi marami idadagdag si Kaado dito. Well, uh, Mami Gwen, uh, tinatawagan lang namin kayo ng pansin, no? Uh, we are not messing with you. It is your daughter that is messing with us. Eh, yung baby nyo, pinagtatakpan, no? Uh, yung kapalpakan ni Paul Soriano at ni Lisa Araneta and that's why she crossed the netizen line no? alam nyo ho meron nga yung ongoing hate line against the first lady and Paul Soriano no? and that again repeats dito sa Pagcor logo no? na ano ba yan demonyo uh, Palong ng uh, manok, ano ba yan? Uh, uh, nawala yung kamay, kamentong, nawala yung araw. So, uh, ibig sabihin niyan, ipaprivatize na talaga ang pagkor. Who is messing with your daughter, uh, ma'am? No? Uh, the person messing with your daughter and who is sabotaging your daughter, uh, who is running a demolition of your daughter's Department of Tourism, is none other than Enrique Manalo, the Secretary of Foreign Affairs, in kakuntsaba niya ang Assistant Secretary na si Henry Bersuto, no? na nag-i-issue lamang ng 100 to 250 visas para sa mga Chinese. Ha? Tourist, tourist. At dahil dito, hindi ho makakakota ang Chinese ng 2 million this year because to be able to reach that number, The DFA must be issuing almost 8,000 visas a day. So, dyan yung event ang inyong galit, no? Yan ang nagsasabutahe, hindi lamang ng inyong anak, hindi lamang ng DOT, kundi ng buong bansa, sampo ng mga mamamayang Pilipino, dahil uh, mawawalan po tayo rito ng... Uh, 1 billion dollar ng earnings so, or million. an equivalent of 200 billion. Two billion. Remember, Kaano. tourism creates two jobs, 
from tourists. Kaano, 2 billion dollars yan per annum. Uh, from, 2 billion? Oh, 2 billion. 2 na billion. billion. Or equivalent of 120 billion pesos uh, 120 a year. 120 billion. Isipin po ninyo, uh, from almost 2 million tourists in 2019, we're going to be down to maybe uh, 100 or 200 thousand this year if this situation does not change. No? And so, uh, sino ang nasa li- Both Bersuto. Uh, Bensuto or Bersuto? Bensuto and this ben, Manalo are ben known... Bensurto. Bensurto, yun. Are both known American boys po. Ano? Uh, the Secretary Manalo is married to an American. Ano? So there are a lot of questions why they have not lifted this limit of 100 visas per consulate ng ating embassy. In fact, embassy. Secretary Presco has already written the DOT once again following up this very urgent issue. So, kayo... Uh, have been overtaken by your emotions, bark at the right tree. It is another department of Bongbong Marcos that is destroying the plans of your daughter. Before I go to uh, Danny here, I just like to say we are not seeing only corruption here. We are not seeing only incompetence, but we are seeing malice, geopolitical malice in the sabotage of our tourism economy. Ayan ay number two number of tourists in 2019 that was going to be the, the biggest big uh, biggest batch of foreign tourists to the Philippines na ngayon sinasabotay deliberately ng mga Amerikano through their American boys in the Department of Foreign Affairs, yung Manalo and Bensurto na yan. Uh, remember, you heard this here. Ano? And uh, this is uh, a gigantic crime against our people. Hundreds of thousands who are working in the tourism industry na magugutom po this year. Let's go to our youngest member mm. who just came back from China po Hi. with the media Hello, delegation. Ano? Um, well, maybe just uh, one, two sentence about your trip to China. How would you sum it up before we really discuss it next week? Yeah, so just one sentence about my trip to China. It was, uh, this is a serious civilization. Yung mga tao nito, yung uh, focus nila is ekonomiya. Uh, yung focus nila ay uh, tech technology, innovation, at hindi yung mga kaguluhan, kagiyera. At uh, nakikita ko na nakikita namin na sila ay um, gumagawa ng uh, their best efforts to really uh, hindi lang sila magde-develop kundi yung buong Asia, hindi yung buong mundo magde-develop. Gusto nila a win-win situation. Yun yung uh, for, uh, emphasis nila sa, sa amin, sa media delegation. Yeah. Any um, reaction to this uh, arrogance of corruption and of profligacy in our Well, si, when it comes to uh, Mama Gwen, um, nakakagalit yung reaction niya dito dahil nung pandemya, akala namin uh, uh, makamasa po siya, makapopulist daw siya kasi she was, um, uh, she was tutul siya sa mga lockdown, mga ba- mask mandate, yung mga vaccine mandate. Uh, yung no vax no ride that was a very populist uh, move pero ngayon ting, uh, makikita namin yung yung well in reference to the pago yung sungay ni uh, governor garcia kasi yung pag, pagiging emotional na reaction is uh, comes from a sense of guilt guilty conscience yun kasi as far as I, as far as i know may uh, kaso siya ng uh, graft and corruption uh, si governor garcia and um, malungkot lang po kasi yung tourism sector uh, ng China, they are the number one or number two, they give us number one, number two, largest tourists in the Philippines yeah. na contribute sa ating economy. And they're yun. the largest tourist group in the world. Yes. In yes. Uh, 2019, there were, uh, I think, 120 million mm-hmm. Chinese tourists mm-hmm. that scattered all over the world. Mm-hmm. And today, they are now rebounding again in Thailand and the other ASEAN countries mm-hmm. except the Philippines. Kagaya ng sinabi mo kanina, Kamen Tong, This is malice in destroying the tourism industry. Um, ipawatak yung mabuting relasyon ng China at ng Pilipinas. So I think um, kung gusto nila nag... Uh, I, I heard may report ka po, yung Department of Tourism, uh, the, the Department of Foreign Affairs is pushing the Department of Tourism to push for more Chinese tourists. Well, unang-una, i, uh, ipaligwak niyo lahat mga corruption, mga incompetence doon at yung mga sabotagers. Yeah. Okay, Kado, again. On a again. different note, gusto ko lamang malaman ng sambayanan na malapit na po ang maliligayang araw ng China dahil aatakihin na ho ng isang Toyota Land Cruiser Prado worth 2 million at make uh, don't <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with this, no? Sabi nga, this is uh, 
bulletproof at ito ho ang gagamitin nila uh, laban sa, sa mga Philippine Coast Guard ships, uh, Chinese Coast Guard ships. And together with this fleet is 31 brand new 2023 model Isuzu MU-X huh? that was also bought for 60 million. So all told, the, ang COA ho, this will be an additional fleet for the COA, 459 service vehicles. Yun lang ang problema pag land travel ito. <laughs> Hindi ko maintindihan kami ito kung paano nila gagamitin ito against the uh, their, uh, what, their perceived enemies yeah. dyan sa South China Seas. And, by the way, kami ito, luxury vehicles are banned since 2018 to Administrative Order 14. No? And uh, ito ho ay Uh, doble ng allowance and they did not get any permission from the Department of Budget Management. So this is the corruption under, tandaan niyo ang pangalan mga kabansa, Commandant Artemio Abu ng Philippine Coast Guard. Eh, siguro si Abu ang gagamit itong uh, bulletproof na ito at yung kanyang uh, aso dyan na si Jay Tariela will only use a brand new MUX Isuzu. Mm. Yan ang mga kabansa, ang latest from your Philippine Coast Guard. Okay, and uh, well, yan po ang arrogance of corruption and profligacy in our society. Uh, wala pong mag improve wala pong uunlad po dito sa bahay natin habang, habang ganyan po ang political leadership ng bansa po natin. Walang exception dyan. Yung mga sumasali sa gobyerno po natin, isang intention lang na, na nandoon sa uh, gitna ng isip po nila ay yung magkurakot uh, po, magtabi ng magtabi ng magtabi. Samantalang ang totoo po, the misery index po sa bansa po natin ay palala ng palala. We might be discussing it a little later on. But regards to the Toyota, expensive luxury Toyota of the Philippine Coast Guard, am I correct? No? Ito po, mamaya, mapapag-usapan natin yung... Uh, Only 54 out of the military's uh, modernization projects, out of 150 projects ng modernization, ang nasasagawa. Pero pwede silang gumasos ng ganyang kalaking mga halaga po sa mga luho po nila. 